Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! news. We've got reveals of a brand new Libromancer card coming in Cyberstorm Access. Feels kind of weird because it feels so soon. Um, to be honest, uh, this came out in the first set of this year, I believe. 2022, I believe, Libram is when Libromancer got its first wave revealed in Battle of Chaos, I think. So... They're not even a year old, and we already get an announcement of, like, even more follow-up support. This just downright doesn't happen all that often. I mean, think about B-Troopers. Think about, you know, I guess Warrock kind of got more cards. Um, so maybe for TCG exclusives, it's just a little bit different sometimes. But I, I made a video a while ago talking about how some of these, like, pretty newer archetypes from Konami, like, need support and deserve it. Because they've been kind of going back to a couple of those archetypes that are only two to three years old but this one's not even a full year old and here we are so yeah let's get into it this is libromancer origin a brand new continuous spell for the libromancer archetype that's a tcg exclusive ritual archetype if you are not familiar you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn you can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn when this card resolves you can set one libromancer spell or trap directly from your deck except origin okay that's just a straight up plus one i love that secondly libromancer ritual monsters you control gain attack equal to their own level times 100 normally it's just going to be six i think mainly you're just summoning um doom broker so he would have plus 600 but i think is is he already 24 so that puts him up to like 3k which which is a, a nice threshold to reach and lastly, if a ritual monster is ritual summoned to your field, you can target one spell or trap card your opponent controls, destroy it. That's honestly a nice bonus effect because ideally, if you're if you're seeing this card, um, you know you just get to fire this, you know, and and you know get maybe a consistency card early in the turn. At some point during your turn, you're going to attempt to ritual summon Doom Broker, and when you do, you just get to pop a free spell or trap as well. Um, yeah. That's that's decent. I mean, that's a nice little bonus effect. Not crazy, but like, sure, that could definitely come up. Um, so yeah, all things considered, that main effect, that first effect is definitely the main one. The third one's probably the next best effect, and the second one, again, bonus effect. But they're both valid bonus effects for sure. So, looking at the Libromancer archetype, what are even our targets here? First and foremost, you have your ritual card in the archetype bonded. This is just the ritual spell. Um, <clears throat> just lets you ritual summon. It's cool. It's fine. It works. Uh, secondly, you have first appearance. This is actually probably the main card. You're going to be setting off this card, especially if you hard open this card in your hand, because this card is the field spell that just adds any Libromancer from deck to hand, which is very cool. Uh, as long as it's a different name than the monsters you control. And then it also... Oh, actually, you know what? You're probably not even searching this because I forgot about this. The the field spell also functions as the deck's um, uh, ritual-like spell, uh, which is really good. So, um, solid. Cool. That's the best card for sure, at least spell-wise. There's also Realize. This is a newer one, I think. This card just gives you a token. I don't think this card's that good in the deck. I doubt this one would be in there, but... I guess you could. And then you get to the traps. Displaced is actually decent. It's kind of like an in-archetype crackdown, um, which is cool. You just take control of an opponent's monster. Intervention's the main one, though. This just negates any card and summons a Libromancer monster back from graveyard or hand uh, when you do it, which is really good because a lot of times you'll, doing your turn one combo, you'll put Agent in grave. And when he's summoned out, he's going to, like, I think he gets you another card. I don't know if he searches straight from deck, but he's going to get you another card, which is great. And the last one is Prevented. This card, it's not that good, to be honest. It's like a uh, warning. It's like a bad warning point, right? Just target a monster. It can't be used as material pretty much till the end of the turn. It's not that good. Um, but here's another interesting thing to note. If you already have full combo in your hand and you open this card, right, like you already have access to the field spell and the standard play that like normally will just pretty much get to Doom Broker, set intervention, and there's your interruption. Maybe there's a world where we also play like one copy of Displaced where in that hand where you kind of open full combo and Origin, you're just like, hmm, let me just grab or let me just do Origin for Displaced and now I get to end on Displaced 
plus intervention and of course you kind of get all the uh, little bonus effects as well from origin the stat boost the ability to pop a spell or trap every time you ritual summon like there's definitely some value there so I like it. Um, also, one other thing I want to check on, which I did not do before this, and that's my fault. Keep in mind, by the way, Geek Boy, when he's summoned, when he's special summoned, adds any Libromancer spell from deck to hand. So if you're going, like, normally when you would do that, you would search the field spell, but now you, like, never need to search the field spell because you would just, why not also get the extra value and search this card first, then use this card to get the field spell. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, one other thing I want to check on was Doom Broker. Yep, let's grab Doom Broker. And then also I want to check on Fire and Agent. Those are the other relevant monsters in the deck uh, once those come. So Fire, uh, there. He has a Libromancer monster, so he even gets you to Geek Boy, then Geek Boy gets you to the spell. So, like, this engine's really cool because it feels like it rotates really well. Um, just, it just, they rotate into each other really nicely and get you to like the same pieces. So this is agent. Yeah. So when he's, um, uh, let's see. And yeah, so this card can target a leader and it's a card in your graveyard and add it back to your hand. So that's as you recycle. That's pretty cool still. Um, and then doom broker. So does doom breaker. Okay. So doom breaker does only set a trap. I was going to say, um, as well as like, oh, well, you can go Doom Broker if he sets any spell or trap, but it's only traps, so uh, not a big deal. Either way, this is a nice consistency card for them, a nice assisting piece, even if even if you don't want too many Libromancer like names in your deck, you could still play this card just as a one off because, like, any of the combos you'd be doing anyway, why not also grab this card? It's just free value, it's just even better. Worst case scenario, it's one more copy of the field spell. Um, like, I, I don't really see the downside to, like, not playing this card, at least at one, but if you really want to max, max consistency on seeing Libromancer cards, a nice three of for the deck. But we'll have to see. This deck's in a really interesting position. Um, I know I've seen some OCG lists kind of tinkering around with, like, Mikanko, li Mikanko combinations with the new archetype from Amazing Defenders, which we'll get in January, but um, until we, you know... Until we really get more to test with it, um, it's just a cool rogue deck at the moment. So, very, very cool. Um, let me know your thoughts down below on that stuff as well, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, like, I like Libromancer, but I never actually played them myself. So, feel free to fill, fill me in on the comments um, down below. Any additional synergies you see with this card that might be relevant, I'd love to hear it. And just your overall thoughts on the card as a whole but i'm out here for today just one little reveal here not really sure how this got revealed because it's like it's obviously grayed out uh so it wasn't revealed like most normal <laughs> core set cards revealed but we'll take it um so yeah i'll keep you updated on any more cybernetic access reveals and anything else big news wise but i'm out here for today thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff from me down the line and i'll catch you in the next one peace